How does it feel? So good. It doesn't look very comfortable. It does. Isn't it hard? It's a little hard on my elbows. Bella, jump PP out there. You jump PP, Bella? So there's a new restaurant opening up in our town and today is its soft opening. So my brother's girlfriend actually is going to be working here. So she invited us to be her guests for the soft opening. Free food. So we get free dinner. <laughs> and to critique the restaurant to its core. That's a good vibe so it's far. so cool. <laughs> So the kitchen here is a little bit backed up and our dessert was ready. We asked for a dessert because we're hungry and it's just sitting there ready. So now we're having some chocolate cake before our food comes. I ordered pasta, Shane ordered salmon. I'll get a plate. Come up to me. Finally. Good show, baby. Uh, wait till Tim comes back. Uh, you both need to be in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking Hi. home. <laughs> Everyone wave to the camera. Like a blue one. Oh, a blue one? Thank you. We have a whole day full of chores. We have a list. Step one. Buy a router. We have our router. Step two, Lunds. It's a grocery rat store. Rat food. Rat food and my tea. It's such a really boring grocery store trip. You I can like... get a treat. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I like... I'm just saying, if it's boring to you, then pick what? something out. I like grocery shopping when we're like making a recipe or or we want to make something, but we're just kind of yeah. going to like look for food. We can get brownie ingredients. You wanted to make brownies the other day. <laughs> Step two, check. Step three is to go check our PO box. Do you mind when you say three? Can you hold up three fingers to indicate to the viewer? Step three is to go check our P.O. box. Okay, there's a bunch of keys and pickup slips in our mailbox, so I came to get Shane because I don't want to have to carry it all back to the car by myself. I don't know how big they're going to be. This says this, the article is too large for your box. Two of those. There's more. There's more. We have to go back. That's pretty. I like this one. Now we're in here with all of our stuff. Check. Check. Done with the post office. Done with number three. Done with lunch. We're done with lunch. Shane, what's next? Next, we need to spend about an hour or two for Shane to mark off the items on the <laughs> to-do list. I'm not sure if you mentioned here that I've had here. We went in that. We were doing checks. Yeah. Nice. See, you can use a pen. We did. That's the... I'm doing X's. Okay. We need to pack books. We can do that now while we charge yeah. our camera battery. We need to review all of the subtitles that have been submitted by all of our yeah. community captioners. Yep. Which we really appreciate. Yes. Um, we check the PO box. We need to film a mail opening video. Yeah. Sort all of our mail and places. 
I don't want to walk. Yes, it's nice out. Is that for you? Yep. <laughs> you can come. I don't know if you did that. That's it. All right. Nice. Now what? Charge Let's our camera? Books, yeah. Pack books? Yeah. I've never held or touched a Tide Pod before. And I knew that. I just yelled from the other room, have you ever touched a Tide Pod? I, I thought so you'd like badly it. I don't pop it. It's on your computer. Do they pop? Well, yeah. They I think you could pop it. I've never tried. Why did people eat these? I don't. That's. Was just... it a challenge or was it? I don't know. I think it was I a know, challenge. It was a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Why did we not have a mirror in our house? You mean at your height? We need to. I have we one upstairs. Have I should just bring it down. Oh, upstairs? <laughs> the birds. Wow. It's another one day in Minneapolis, so we're sitting outside in our front yard, Yep. enjoying the sunshine, because our backyard doesn't get sunshine. Yep. So we're the weirdos hanging out out front. <laughs> I think my least favorite thing about warmer weather are insects, because every part of me, my wheels, are on the ground at all times, so they just slither right up. When has that has that happened to you today? Into my loins. Really? <laughs> that has not happened. That's happened to me before. And it's terrifying. <gasps> they, see? see? Look. Yeah, one went on Get you. off. Can we kill them all? No. Nope. You ant traps. Oh my god! One is sniffing my actual foot right now with his little nose. Probably go change. What is this called? Like double fisting? Yeah, that's what double fisting is. Are you eating the seeds? The white ones. You don't have a watermelon jar in your stomach. I'm trying not to eat the black ones, but it's hard to avoid. Is there a reason you're not using your lips? On the watermelon? I, I don't know. Got it. I got the bigger the bigger seat out. Care for a drink. What's up made my yellow parts are? Wow. <laughs> my yellow parts. What's it help? Your yolk. Oh uh, yeah. We're here to wait until like 3 10, 3 15 to begin, just to give everyone time to come in and get settled. Um, in the meantime, I can sign your book if you brought it. Um, I will have to like conserve my jaw energy, so I might not be like overly talkative right now. Um, but yeah, I can sign your book, say hi. Uh, and we'll be in a little bit. Thank you. Would you mind signing no. all three of hers? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she's a total fan. That's awesome. <laughs> Can she have a picture with you? Yeah. Off okay. No, do it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. big thank you to Wild Rumpus for hosting us. Um, and another big thank you to Meredith, our book holder. Um, you're making life much easier right now. Uh, so basically, what I had planned, um, and if you hate this idea, tell me and I won't do it. Um, I was going to read the intro of the book um, with Hannah's assistance, and then do it Q&A at the end. Um, does that sound good? Cool. Let's see that later I'll play a shot with a no. Um, <laughs> Alright, so this is the intro to my brand new book, Strangers Assume My Girlfriend is My Nurse. Thank you. I think just overall being mindful that people with disabilities are people first um, and talking to them as people as if you would speak to anyone else um, and getting to know them and trying to challenge the assumptions that you're making um, probably without even realizing, realizing that you're making them. Um, it really is a conscious effort to question uh, the biases that you might have um, so 
thinking about that, I believe to be really helpful. There is a chapter about a wild road trip that Hannah and I took um, two or three years ago um, where some pretty funny things happened along the way. Um, I won't spoil it, but that was my favorite chapter. I think people look at disability in an overwhelmingly negative, um, pitiable um, way. And I and every other person with a disability that I've met loves their life, um, for the most part. Um, and yeah, I think that we need to reframe how we think about disability. It's not a sad thing. We adapt and we get on with it and we live our lives. Um, and yeah, I think that's another really big misconception. We started last June and until December, I think we had like 4,000 subscribers in those like six months. So it was a very slow transition. Like for those couple of months, we'd get like a comment and get really excited about it. <laughs> so we were like, we eased into it, like making the videos became normal and stuff. Um, once people, a lot of people started watching, I think the biggest transition has been like not reading the comments. Like I've turned them off on my phone just because like, I don't want to deal with it. Um, so I think, the, well, the, yeah. yeah, the negative comments, but if they pop up on your phone, you read yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I think that has helped my transition is just to like, focus on the like the making of the videos and like reading the positive comments that like Shane will show me but not like obsessing over the negative ones. The Jericho chapter um, felt like something that I needed to say. Um, it, it was the hardest chapter for me to write by far. Um, for those of you that haven't checked it out yet, um, there was a young girl uh, named Jericha, who had the same disease as me, who chose to end her life um, because she was in pain and the media went wild celebrating her choice to end her life rather than uh, listening into it more. And there were a lot of really big gray areas surrounding it, but because she had a disability, um, they assumed that her life was not worth living. Um, it sucked a lot. Uh, anyway, I thought that the media's handling of that was super damaging to the way that we think about disability, and uh, it, it killed someone. Um, so yeah, that's why I put that in there.